Today I have a very special unboxing and painting video for you. This is an order I placed a while ago with Choosing Keeping and it contains some really interesting and unique art supplies and stationery products. I first discovered Choosing Keeping back in the summer and I was intrigued enough to go and have a look at their online shop. I couldn't resist ordering a few items and when the box arrived, not only did it look lovely on the outside with their very special bird stickers and a beautifully handwritten label, but when I opened it up, as you can see here, each individual item I purchased was wrapped with so much care and attention to detail in the most gorgeous paper. Recently I've been trying to shop more locally and with independent businesses and what I loved about Choosing Keeping is not only are they an independent business themselves but they also predominantly work with other independent family owned businesses so when you shop at Choosing Keeping you are in fact supporting many small businesses from around the world. When I placed my order I initially chose the 1970s retro watercolour set and Choosing Keeping got in touch with me to let me know that it was currently on back order as they'd sold out and that it would be in stock by the end of the month and I was quite happy with this, I said I was happy to wait and um, that I would actually be making a video of the products for my YouTube channel. A couple of days after this, the owner of the business, Julia, reached out to me. She was very interested that I would be making a video of the products and she actually suggested that they send me the 1960s box of paints instead of the 1970s. I was quite happy with that because the 1960s box also looked good. I was interested to try that too and she very kindly said that she would include a couple of extra products. So to be completely transparent, two of the items in this package are gifted and I paid for the rest of the order. So as I said, I was placing the order anyway and it was only when they reached out to me to tell me that something was out of stock that I informed them that I'd be making a video. So they very kindly decided to include a couple of extra items which we will have a look at later. Aquarella watercolour paper is a beautiful heavyweight paper. It's not quite hot pressed, it's not completely smooth, but it's much less textured than a lot of the watercolour papers I use. the aquarella paper for the colour swatches and I love the way the paint feels on the paper. I think this is something I'm going to be using a lot more in my work from now on and I know that Choosing Keeping do a larger size of watercolour pad so that's something I may get in the future.
totally in love with these Japanese Gansai paints. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly by the way. I'd never used them before and since opening the package a few weeks ago I've used them so often and they're becoming one of my go-to paints. So this week I decided that I would order the other two sets, the 1970s and 1980s retro watercolour sets. So I'll be making another video when those arrive. The paints have a lovely consistency and the colours are so vibrant. I love the way that you can water them down and they become more like a traditional watercolour so they become more transparent or you can use them with less water and they become more opaque like gouache. The gold paint included in this set is really beautiful. It's quite matte so it just has a gentle sheen rather than being very shiny which I really liked and I think suits my work. I'm going to be showing you how I use it or one way I use it later on in this video when I work on a painting. This is a really interesting set of watercolour paints. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. They're different shades of black, so for example you have reddish black, yellowish black, greenish black and so on. There are a couple of shades I've used more than the others at the moment, bluish black and purplish black. I'm going to be using the purplish black in the painting I'll be making for you later but I'm looking forward to using some of the other shades in my landscape paintings. These are also the same consistency as the previous set of paints, so you can either use them thinly in translucent washes, or you could layer them for a bolder and more opaque effect. Finally, I wanted to test the natural pigment ink and Japanese paintbrush that Choosing Keeping had very kindly sent to me and I can say that I'm a big fan of both of them, so much so that I've now ordered the natural pigment ink in indigo and the larger version of the Japanese paintbrush. I love the subtle gentle colours of these inks. On the Choosing Keeping website it says that they can be used for calligraphy as well as drawing and painting. So I think what I'm going to do in an upcoming video is show you how I combine these with other media and will do a mixed media landscape piece using these inks.
Thank you.